Alright, this is Von Lagaya, um, and welcome to Let's Play Croc, Legend of the Gobos. This is my second Let's Play, so um, let's get right to it, actually. We're going to help Croc rescue his friends, the Gobos, who were captured by the Baron Dante. Um, they raised him from a baby, and uh, yeah, now they're captured, so Croc wants to save them. So we're going to help him. Let's get right into it. Um... This is stage 1-1, one, one, and so the adventure begins. So you see we have these gems here. I mean, it's standard, uh... Standard platforming fare, I think. We have the standard gems, and we have these colored ones, too. These gems, the regular ones, um... At the end of a level, they're tallied. Your total is tallied, and when that hits 100, you gain a free life. Um, they're sort of like... Sonic, though, in the fact that if you get hit, you drop them all, and you can recollect some of them that, that fall out of you. Um, but yeah, you don't get a life, I don't think, for collecting... Well, I don't think they put 100 gems in every level anyway, but... Um, rather than getting a, hundred, uh, a life for collecting 100 during a stage, I think you... Uh, it's given to you at the t after each stage during the tally. I'll show you what I mean later. Anyway, um, we got our second Gobbo down here, and uh, we also have three of the colored gems. I'll show you what the colored gems allow us to do when we get there. And uh, yeah, so let's go back up here. And across this log and through the door. The soundtrack for this game is also nothing short of amazing. It's not every it's not every every time you play one of these games that you hear such a good soundtrack, but this game has a really 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 good music in it. Oh, crap. Why did I do that? <sighs> oh well. That's and then we got a third gobo. So let's move on. This level is very easy to get this to find everything in. Since, I mean, it's the first stage, they're gonna make it fairly simple. And it's good that they did. Friendly learning curve type thing. And, okay, so we come over here. Worm guy pops up. And now we can go down this tunnel. This, like, well thing that the worm came out of. And there is, uh... There's more stuff to collect down here. You can see, obviously, just like last time, there are these cracked platforms. If you step on them, they break. So you have to get off of them really qu like quickly enough. Up here, we find another gem, and uh, that's all five colored gems we have for this stage. Every level, well, most levels, except for the boss stages, have five of these uh, multicolored gems. Like, well, single-colored gems, I mean. And they use them to open this door. And you can go on and get the bonus section of, of, uh, that, of that level. Usually it has a gobbo behind the door. So you have to get them all if you want to find every gobbo. Anyway, there's a balloon here, and we can unlock it and get the last gobbo. Gobbo, gobbo, whatever. And that's that level. <coughs> See, it tallied up my gems here, so I have 29 now. You keep them until... You get 100, which gives you a free life. Um, if you get game over, though, you lose all that, I think. Anyway, that was the first stage. I'm going to save our game here. There we go. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and um, I hope you all join me for the rest so we can go through this whole adventure together, and, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Take care.